okay now we are on the fifth question we are not able to see the full question but anyway we will just crawl it across okay let me start the timer a solid ball metal solid metal ball is dropped from a tower so you are standing on top of a tower and from here you are dropping this okay drop which means what your initial velocity is zero a variation with time of the velocity of the ball is plotted now it is see velocity is going down like this how should the velocity actually vary see when the velocity when the ball actually comes down you should get v equal to u plus e at and here a is equal to g so you should get u equal to zero which should be g into t which means you are supposed to get a straight line like this but why is it coming down like this because the velocity is decreasing when will the velocity decrease when there is an opposite force right okay now a hollow metal ball with the same size and shape is dropped from the same tower and instead of dropping a, uh, a solid ball i am dropping a hollow ball what graph will represent the variation with time t of the velocity of the hollow metallic ball definitely for the solid ball itself it is going down for a hollow metallic ball what is a hollow metallic ball hollow means it is lighter whose mass is much lesser which means definitely definitely it will not be option a it cannot be option b the velocity will not increase this was solid it has to decrease only it has to either be c or it has to be d over here now which could be a right answer so therefore it cannot be d because you know it's almost becoming a straight line like you see it's almost becoming a straight line so the answer should always be a c1 and why is it c here now you see you can see a plateau region coming here which indicates your terminal velocity why should the velocity decrease the velocity should decrease because it's an air resistance right which i had already depicted is an air resistance here so the velocity is decreasing so by looking at the initial problem itself you should be able to gauge where does the problem lead to Okay, so now let us move on to the sixth.